Hello and welcome to ISAT. I'm Guido all day with the news. Ethiopia's mainstream Oromo political parties are reportedly mulling over the possibility of merger as constituents continue pressuring for the formation of a united Oromo political party. Ibsa Nago of the Oromo Liberation Front, OLF, said at a press conference yesterday that his party has been in discussions with the Oromo Federalist Congress, OFC, and other parties to brainstorm on the possibility of forming a united front. Nago said his front has, that is based in Eritrea and led by Daoud Ibsa will soon move to Ethiopia and will actively take part in the evolving political process in the country. Similarly, Vice President of the Oromo Federalist Congress, Mula Tutashome, told ETV that his party has decided to work with other Oromo political groups. He said the party is in consultation with Oromo political groups that recently returned home from exile. Mulatu says the Oromo people have been demanding that political groups should come together and create one front instead of ha having a number of parties that work for the same people and constituency. The OLF and other opposition political groups had been declared terrorists by the previous TPLF-led government, but the reformist Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed, who took office in April, made a call to the opposition to be part of the political process in the country, regardless of their political differences. Laws that exclude the and label exiled political groups have been scrapped since Ahmed took office, paving the way for the opposition to take part in the next elections, slated for 2020. The Crime Prevention Unit of the Capital's Police said it has arrested 108 people that it said have been involved in looting private and public properties, as well as in the illegal movement of hard currencies in Addis Ababa. Police have also seized weapons and motorbikes that the suspects allegedly used in the crime. That's according to a report by the Ethiopian television. Police allege that some of the suspects have also been involved in illegally appropriating land while others have looted utility cables meant for building public houses. The illegal pro appropriation of land has particularly been rampant in the peripheries of the city, according to police. Hundreds of weapons smuggled into Addis Ababa have been seized in recent weeks. Some of the weapons were intercepted while in transit to other regions of the country. And finally, an exhibition of wrecked vehicles has gone on display in the main square of Ethiopia's capital Addis Ababa. It has been organized by Samrawi Tirgalem, who says she has survived four traffic accidents. The report by the BBC said the vehicles have been provided by local insurance companies. I need people to learn from this Ms. Samrait told the BBC. She said the, the Ethiopian New Year is coming next month, so people should make re a resolution to have an accident-free year. The World Health Organization says road traffic accidents are a major global public health problem, and low- and middle-income countries, including Ethiopia, bear the brunt. Ethiopia's transport ministry says that 4,500 people are killed on the country's road every year and more than 12,000 are injured because of traffic accidents. That ends the news. Have a nice weekend.